letting off, but still, even though it gives you a break by letting off, as Hornet decides he's going to go to the bottom. Oh, we got Thomas, a crash. Joey Clanton has come. He tried to slow down to get on the oh, pit road, and in oh, doing man. so, he has caused a melee behind him. That's Ken, is that Ken Schrader? That's Ken Schrader just going out of our screen. There's Tyler Walker right there at the 36. There's Craig Kenzer, the 47, spinning around. Jason White had a good run going with his gunbroker.com. Ford. Uh, basically, if you're running 15th or back, you just had a chance to be in a big crash. Look at that. Ken Look Schrader. The damage to the 18. Fast and all dodge. And you see Ken. He's got the window net down, signifying to the safety crews that he's all right. He's going to unstrap the helmet and climb out of that vehicle. And that was a track blocker right there. Sure it was. There's a Tyler Walker who had such a good run going in Bill Davis's Toyota. Be interesting to see if 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 the 09 trying to get to pit road is what triggered that. It, it appeared as if it was, Rick. He was the first truck to spin out of line, and then after that, it all broke loose. There's Kenny Schrader in the fast and all uniform walking off back towards pit road. Good to see him get out here. Adam, what's going on down there? Well, the, the confusion really began a lap earlier after the NASCAR had posted Joey Clanton. They told him that he had been posted and he had to come down pit road. But, Phil, he didn't hear that call from the team. So he spent a lap asking, are we going to come down pit road or what? They finally got the message to him, yes, you need to come down pit road. And now Joey Clanton coming on the radio complaining, why did they hit me when I was below the yellow line? So it started with some confusion one lap earlier, and then it turned into the melee that we we saw on the racetrack. There's uh, Jason White right there. We had, had such a good run going. He had driven that truck up into the top 15. See if we can take a look. There's Joey Clanton, the 09, slowing down. He's on the bottom of the racetrack. The three wide behind him. Oh, the 63 truck just didn't get yeah. the memo, man. Yeah, he couldn't slow down as Joey Clanton well, was trying to get off the yeah, racetrack. Joey was not off the racetrack right. yet. He was straddling the yellow but, line, and they came around there and. And uh, the but 63, Jason, he was he probably concerned about the guy beside him. and didn't see him. Here we go again. He's driving through these guys to get, you know, to get up there. His spotter should have said he should have known a lap before the 09's got a pit. His spotter's got to tell him the 09's coming to pit road. He's on the bottom. Go high. And, and you know, that that was a communication problem. If, if he didn't hear that spotter or the spotter didn't tell him, that's the spotter's fault. A lot of times, don't you guys put your hands up in the air saying, hey, guys, I've got to go in. He's not going to see that. Down in the corner, it doesn't matter if he had both arms out the window, Rick. He can't see that. But what he has to have is communication from the top. You know, we knew for two laps that the 09 had to pit, and that guy should never have been in this position. There it is right there. He is coming down pit road, but the 63 of Jason Wright, Jason White runs into him. Nothing that, that the 09 did wrong. He was dead on the bottom, Phil. And he was probably waving. But it's very difficult. The 63 of Jason White doesn't have that much experience here at this racetrack. It he sounds like he didn't really have that much help, maybe from up top. He basically drove through and around the double zero to, to hit the 09. So even if the double zero had been ray, or the 09 had been waving his arms, the, the 63 isn't going to see that. These are the trucks that were involved in this. The third caution, the third crash of the evening. That's, a, that's one of those crashes you hate to have. It's just a guy coming to pit road that causes a big crash. You hate to see that. And so we have completed 24 laps at Daytona, but we have had three cautions in those 24 laps, and it has included some of the stars of this series. On their way out, the Fastenal Dodge won't have a chance to complete the first race of the 2007 season.